Okay, well, as you guys can see, we got uh, a completely flat tire. So we're gonna need to fix that and we're out here. So we're gonna make a long way home. It's really fun riding with these guys, but. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel for another video. We're back out here. We got our buddy Luke, you guys might remember from two episodes ago. We took him out with Sebastian when he blew his bike up. He just got this absolute unit, a 23 300 XCW KTM TPI. Thing's sick, man. Look at this thing. So clean. Get one hard good look at her boy. She'll never look like this again. This shit's right here. It's pretty fun. And then you do this and you drop off and jump. Whoop. And then up here and kick the dirt. Woo! Oh, that's fun as hell. One more time. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. A lot of fun. Woo! <laughs> Woo! That was sick. Oh, this is a great time. So as you guys can see, we got a couple buddies showed up. We got Tynan and Emily. She's ripping a KX250. She's on a CRF100, classic bike. As you guys know, Jessica ripped that same bike. We're just kind of out for a cruise today, having some fun. He's having fun up on his new bike up there. Hell yeah. sections are always awesome. Oh, it's so dusty. Oh, he must be just dreaming. He's loving his life right now on his new TPI. Oh, you got two more coming up behind you, bud. Two more. Here you guys can see we're following Emily. She's on her little CRF 100. Same little bike that Jess has got. She had like the same like skill level as her too. So I think it'd be cool to like bring them both out on a ride. We got him over here dicking around having fun on his brand new TPI. Man, he must be having an absolute blast. Okay, well, as you guys can see, we got uh, a completely flat tire. So we're gonna need to fix that and we're fucked out here. So we're gonna make a long ass way home. It's really fun riding with these guys, but we're gonna slowly miss her on our way back. I'm trying not just totally fuck our rim, so. Yeah, I kind of figured that might happen flying as quick as we were in here. God damn it, that really sucks. Absolutely myself all because i want to go fast and just have some fun here oh that really sucks well i guess this is the perfect time to let you guys know that we just dropped a whole bunch of money on the klx with some parts so we got lots of cool stuff coming here this really really sucks uh, i waited friggin an hour and a half to come out riding with these guys and now we got a flat tire that really bites absolutely bites oh fucker Uh, the thing is, I really just don't want to fuck the rim. So, like, I'd rather walk the bike on this really gnarly stuff. Oh, f me. Why? Why, 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 why? We were having a good ride. We were supposed to be a real good day. Go all the way up to the lake. Bring over to the mud pit. I was going to show those guys. Oh, damn it. Well, I'm stuck alone again in the woods, even though we came out with people. I'm alone in the woods again, it's, and it's not their fault. I told them to keep going. I didn't want them to have to wait and come all the way back with me, so that's okay. I know where I'm going. It's just now going to take a goddamn while to get all the way with freaking back. Oh, this is going to be the rest of my day now. It's just walking out of the woods. Man, this sucks. 
I knew I need I, I knew I should have put some more pressure in these tires they've been feeling really soft but it's good because they're like lower on traction so I help with the traction but it's only good in the enduro stuff you know when you're not on this goddamn blast rock blast rock just too fast blast rock no good don't do it not worth it and I'm probably gonna end up effing this tire up so yeah, I need you guys to go like this car if you guys can go like this video to support us and help us and get a new tire because we got like no money and now we need more parts and we just spent thousands of dollars on we just spent all the money we had on the parts to order for this and now we need more parts to be able just to fix it so we can get it back right again this sucks and tires are so bloody expensive right now oh god damn it well i'd say this is about as good of a spot as any to sit down and have a lunch i don't know where it's coming out of oh that sucks look at this flat tire in the middle of goddamn nowhere oh just my freaking luck eh oh no might as well sit and have a cold beer here nothing else to do today well cheers boys it looks like this is how the rest of my day is gonna go i'm just gonna crack a cold one start walking i guess got a long ways to walk out it's not my first time being here so i know we can do it it's just gonna take a goddamn while so let's let's get to it okay well we've been going for about one beer and one bowl so we're getting somewhere it says we got eight kilometers left till we're down at the end of this road and we gotta cross over through some trails to get to where we are actually parked at so this will be interesting riding on flat tire we'll see how much we mess up the actual rubber the real question is can we do it without messing up the rim so obviously don't hit any rocks avoid the potholes try and keep it so it's not getting pranked by rocks and stuff because the rubber is well deflated and not deflecting the rocks so it's hitting the metal if you hit something big in the road so we'll see what happens i don't know we're just gonna keep on riding keep on going that's all we can do really at least we got a decent third gear roll going it's really sloshy in the rear end it's all over the place as you turn but you know what else do you expect for a flat tire it sucks it feels like it went flat at where the rim lock is so i don't know i don't know we'll have to see we'll go home and we'll pull it apart and we'll see what it looks like uh inside well now i know i think why i like this tire so much when i was in the enduro because of how soft it was like because of how low tire pressure we we're running this thing it worked really well in the trails because it was so damn soft but it was so damn soft as soon as you go in that blast rock game over you're done you're done see you later bud you're going home that's it call her quits throw the white flag up you're done so i guess i learned my lesson we'll see how mangled the tire is by the time we get all the way back and out of here but it looks like we're getting new tires Well, as you guys can see, we did end up finally making it back to the place. So let's go ahead and let's unload this bike, pull it into the shop, and let's take a closer look at it and see how mangled or not mangled it is. All right, so now we got the bike running on the stand and we're just kind of feeling with our finger here the rim is still nice and straight i can feel there's one little bump in here which is not too bad so we'll come over to the other side let's watch this one for a little bit let's try a second gear now the wheel's spinning a little bit quicker Got a little bit of humpy dumpy in there. You can see every time my finger gets like whacked away, that's. Okay, so. Definitely some damage on it. Not the worst, so it could be definitely worse. Could be way more screwed. This is definitely salvageable and usable still. Let's take a closer look at the tire. The tire's not absolutely destroyed it's definitely got some gashes in it from being flat and ran on but it could be worse definitely looks more worn but i mean that's what you get for riding on a flat tire for i don't know how many kilometers but nonetheless it looks like we came out okay not the end of the world we're gonna be able to fix it even use this still tire we're just gonna need to get a new tube for sure because this tube's gonna have probably a thousand holes on it from riding on a pinch flat for however many kilometers we did so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go down below click that like button click subscribe for more and i will see you guys in the next one peace out